So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert if this is your first time tuning in. So today we're going to do another unconventional side hustle. As I start this video we have a plane going overboard but I'll give it a second real quick. I've been getting a lot more planes actually. I've been seeing a lot more uh, like military style planes uh, flying over. Kind of interesting. But anyways back to the video. So Another unconventional side hustle is going to be going up to ranchers and farmers. You can do this. I'll tell you exactly how to find these people. Um, but going out and clearing your fence line. I'm going to show you clearing my fence line. I'm going to tell you how much I pay uh, people to clear my fence line. So maybe if you're looking to do something, again, unconventional, something with uh, a little bit of sweat equity in there, I'm going to show you exactly how it all works, what you need to do, where you can find the people, and how much you can expect to make. So definitely stay tuned, guys. We're going to go ahead and get into it. So... First, where are you going to find people's fence lines to clean? So you're more than likely going to target people who have a lot of land. You can find these people usually going to tractor supply, feed lots, feed stores, um, any kind of ranch and, and farming supply stores will typically have a lot of people who go in there who have land who would like their fence line cleaned. So when people are going out and looking for fence line cleanings, most people are going to go out with heavy machinery. Um, kind of like the machinery passing us right now, similar to that, which is going to be quite expensive. But if you can go out there and you can go out there by hand and uh, clear some of the fence line, um, you're going to be in good shape. People are going to be willing to pay you sometimes even a little bit more because they're going to take your time and do it a little bit more carefully. Because one of the problems you have with clearing a fence line with heavy machinery is sometimes you will damage a fence. And people who have hired out these things, um, kind of have noticed that so sometimes they will be more willing to pay a little bit more for a person to go out there and manually clean out the fence line. Now how much you're going to make is going to vary because there's a lot of things that could uh, that could pop up. Maybe you have a lot of trees, maybe you have a lot of shrubs, maybe it's like this, you just have a lot of grass. Um, it's going to depend based on you know how much crap you have to cut down. But like I said heavy machinery sometimes can't get too too close to the fence line without damaging it. So this is where it's going to be handy and, um, and good for you guys watching this if you're interested in doing a side hustle like this. Now, how much do I pay for people to come out here and clear the fence line? Today, I'm going to be doing it myself so that way I can show you guys uh, what it takes and everything you can do to get the fence line cleared up. So for me, I typically pay between $15 and $20 an hour for a person to come out here and manually clean out the fence line, depending on what they're going to be doing. So like the initial cleaning of a, fence of a fence line is going to involve a lot of um, uh, maybe short trees or maybe thicker trees. Now real quickly, side note, I don't, um, I don't recommend you go out there and look for fence lines that have huge trees growing in the middle of the fence line. That's kind of dangerous, especially if you're not familiar with it or if you don't have the right equipment for that type of work. So I would kind of stick to something like this, maybe some stuff with some, with some bushes in the middle some small to light trees but nothing crazy um, again you don't want to you don't want this to be a hazard for you so again i paid about 15 to 20 dollars the first cleaning when this was you know brand new and no one had ever done any work paid a little bit more uh, because it was more work there was more stuff in the way now it's mainly just grasses so i usually pay about 15 dollars um, an hour today um, back then it was probably about 12 dollars an hour but of course things have gone up um, so today it's about 15 to 20. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how you can get it done. What you need really is going to be a weed eater. They're, I didn't even bring it with me, but I'll, I'll leave everything down below in the description for anyone who is interested in checking it out. I'll leave the attachments that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, there's like a chainsaw attachment for a weed eater. There's also a blade attachment for the, the weed eater as well to knock out some of these bigger stumps that you'll run into. All that stuff will be down below in the description. Um... But yeah, just a good solid weed eater. If you already have one, then you're already in good shape. The one I have has four multiple attachments. You can unscrew it here and attach different, um, different heads on the weed eater. So you can use it for various tasks. But um, yeah, real quickly, I guess on this, you want to get a little bit more of an industrial weed eater if you don't have one. This one is the Steel KM56RC. It does, it does what I need for out here. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend just getting a little bit more of a heavy grade uh, weed eater for stuff like this. 
with the option to be able to add attachments makes life a little bit easier instead of having to haul around uh, multiple machines it, you can just have one machine with just different attachments um as far as the string uh, i use the i'll go get it right now actually so this is a string i use again i'll leave all this stuff down below in the description um this is the one i have found that works the best lasts the longest and i don't have to be respooling my weed eater every five minutes so yeah with that being said guys we're going to go ahead and just show you what we're going to be doing again this is a great way to make some money um, you can also charge by the job you don't have to do by the hour if you're going to be going out and uh, prospecting jobs you can do it by the hour or you can do it by the job so um real quickly we're probably going to do about i would say less than 100 feet or so and if i was to go out and bid this i would charge a couple hundred dollars i would even do it by the hour because i can work fast i'm a good worker i'm a hard worker so i can get it done pretty quickly so i really charge by the job um, to make the most amount of money right if i'm going in there in in this thinking about it as a business or as a side hustle so for this uh, i don't know maybe 400 bucks 300 bucks for something like this is what i would charge and then i could probably knock it out in an hour or two say two hours to be comfortable um and the reason you can charge so much is because a lot of people are a little bit lazy a lot of people don't want to go out there and do this kind of work so they rather just pay a little extra they know they're overpaying most people know they're overpaying but they're fine with it because why they don't have to go out there and do this stuff themselves today less and less people want to do manual labor so this is a great area for people who love to get dirty work with their hands it's a great time to be alive if you like that kind of stuff it's a great time to make some extra money because less and less people want to do it so that means the the people that they do find willing to get their hands dirty are more valuable um, so let's go ahead and stop talking and go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing and uh, yeah i'll just go ahead and move the camera move it down there so you guys can see exactly what i'll be doing here and we'll just let the camera roll all righty
<laughs> All right, guys, well, you kind of get the gist of it. Um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for about another 60 or so feet. Um, so now I gotta sneeze. Um, you kind of get the, the whole idea of it. You kind of saw what I was gonna be doing. Um, it's gonna be the same thing continuously for another hour or so. So there's no point in uh, me just recording everything over and over and over again. So um, I hope you got some value out of it. Hopefully it gave you some ideas on how to make some extra cash. And again, these are easy ways you can start today. So without further ado guys, appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.